students in the cohort and two online but uh, the team is expecting few more so probably we'll have 40 students in this cohort and uh, we usually when we begin the session we have a nice inaugural uh, round where uh, we invite the chief guest guest of honor who would talk about this particular sector and what is the potential what are the opportunities or challenges in this sector which will set the tone for the entire deliberation of uh, all the next sessions but today we are doing little different and we are going to start with a very very dynamic session uh, which is going to be uh, which dr ravi mathur will take it up and then around 11 30 we will begin with the uh, inaugural session where we expecting our chief guest and guest of honor to join us so uh, if you all are aware of uh, i mean how many of you all know what we do federation do you all know what a chamber of commerce does nobody nobody knows uh, what's a chamber of commerce okay uh, so uh, in short, like we'll show you a short film about FTCCI, but basically we are for the industry, by the industry. So any issues, any challenges that is faced by the industry as a chamber, as a consolidated voice, we take it up with the government, with the policy makers, with the stakeholders. So for us, how do we measure our success? The growth of any industry, growth of enterprises, growth of MSME members is our growth. So we are a 105 year old federation which exists uh, in telangana and uh, we've been working uh, for the industry so whether it's a small enterprises whether it's youth or uh, an experienced uh, personnel like you all so what we try is we create uh, you know lot of uh, opportunities in terms of awareness programs, in terms of skill programs, in terms of B2B connects, whatever activities we do throughout a year, it may help you in some way or the other way. And we work on membership uh, basis. So we have around 25,000 indirect members today in the state. And uh, I think in a nutshell, uh, it's not my lecture, so I can't go on and on. But in a nutshell, this is what a chamber is. But I'm sure over a period of time, I would request Kulkarni, who's also the director of uh, the skill center maybe he can take one session of for half an hour at least about a chamber and its role so it will give you a more perspective of what we do and uh, we would like to show a short video of FTCCI and then we can begin the session. Nineteen seventeen, the year when a dedicated organization, the Deccan Chamber of Commerce, was formed to encourage trade and commerce activities. The historical journey of the organization has witnessed great transformation as per the changing needs of the industry and businesses. The Federation of Telangana Chambers of Commerce and Industry, FTCCI, a legacy of excellence, voice of the industry, representing interests of over 25,000 businesses of all sizes, sectors and regions, is empowering industry and trade of Telangana State. A world leader in pharma, a global hub for vaccine, Home to all major MNCs, leader in IT exports, and emerging first stop of India. FTCCI advocates a pro business environment, caters to the needs of MSMEs, budding entrepreneurs, and traders through its advisory services in taxation, market information, industry related issues. B2B connection. The Chamber has its nominees in the state level advisory committees to help drive business productivity. FTCCI aids in providing certificate of origin for exporters, issues visa recommendation for business travels. The Federation imparts job skills through its dedicated skill center. It has adopted 14 government ITIs to improve the employability of students. With a uniquely global perspective, the FTCCI events 
reach a highly engaged audience, policy makers and stakeholders aiming towards Atmanirbhar Bharat. Come and be a part of this dynamic and proactive organization. Together, let's realize the vision for a progressive future. Thank you so much. Did this give you some idea of what a federation is? Okay. So uh, we'll begin with the first session and I take this honor to introduce Dr. Ravi Mathur. Dr. Ravi Prakash Mathur, Vice President and Global Head of Logistics and Supply Chain Excellence, Doctor uh, is working with Dr. Reddy's Lab Limited at Hyderabad, India. Dr. Prakash Mathur is a supply chain professional and a published author with more than 25 years of experience. He works in the area of supply chain and digital transformation, integrated business planning and projects based on emerging digital technologies. Uh, now I know why you were asking me about the IT committee. <laughs> He's also a member of Supply Chain Council and on academic boards of business school. He speaks regularly at the international conferences and at top ranked universities in India. In 2020, he co-authored an acad academic paper titled Dr. Reddy's Lab Limited Inventory Management Under Resource Constraints and which is hosted by Harvard Business Publishing Education and it's also available on the HBR store. Can we have a big round of applause for that, please? <laughs> he was amongst the top 25 digitalist thought leader of India announced by SAP ACE uh, Awards in 2015. In 2014, he co-authored the book Quality Assurance in Pharmaceuticals and Operations Management and Industrial Safety. Dr. Mathur's doctoral thesis was about supply chain system for international threat. So I think uh, we are really going to begin the session with a very good expert and I'm sure I think you all just look very, very serious today and you know, maybe Dr. Mathur is going to do the magic and we are going to uh, see a different version of you during the inaugural. So all the best to you and over to you, Dr. Mathur. Uh, thank you, Khyati ma'am, for that rather generous introduction. And uh, I'm scared you set the expectations so high, but I'll try my best to live up to them. So like I had promised, I'll kind of maybe, you know, get some laughter into the room. Yes. Uh, you know, people are like, I think the topic is like too serious. And uh, okay, so what I'll start with is I, I represent the pharmaceutical industry, okay? If you would have heard it, I work for Dr. Eddy's. And pharmaceutical industry is about therapies. Okay, uh, can you gain, give me a name of a few therapies? Yeah. Oh, mic? Uh, is there a mic we can pass around? Lokesh, is there a mic? Mm -hmm. Okay. Ha, uh, louder. If you could just be little, little uh, louder, sir. Yes. Uh, what kind of therapies have you heard of? Acupressure, acupuncture, okay. But within pharmaceuticals? Anybody else? Okay, so let's like, like, uh, you know, stay on the, you know, I mean, broader term. Okay. Acupressure, acupuncture, Ayurveda, homeopathy, pharmaceuticals. In pharmaceuticals, you have diabetology, cardio management. Yes, yes. Yeah, pain management. All these kind of therapies are there. But you know, in India, there is a very unique type of therapy that we have uh, in our cities. Can anybody guess what is that therapy? Laughter. Laughter, laughter therapy. <laughs> so let's start with some laughter therapy, and then you know, then we have in the right energy. So can I all request you all to please get up? Let us do some laughter therapy. Okay. And what is there in laughter therapy? Kya karna hota? So I'll count three. Okay. One, two, three, bolunga gave. Or at an account of three, every one, each, one, each one of us will throw up their hands and LOL. LOL means laugh out loud, not the WhatsApp LOL, actual LOL, okay? As loud as you can. Fourth floor, the gavaj jana chi hai. Okay? One, two, and three. Ha 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 ha. Kuch awaz hi nahi aaya. Come on, mira mic ka awaz aaya. Loud. I will not laugh this time, okay? Only you have to laugh. One, 
टू एंड थ्री ओके इंडिया में सारा काम तीन बार करना होता है सो लेट्स डू इट वन मोर टाइम शांति 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 भी तीन बार बोलते हैं वन टू एंड थ्री ग्रेट नाउ अभी कैसा लग रहा है एनर्जी है थैंक यू सर ओके सो आई एम हेयर टू टेक यू थ्रू यू नो सम सम स्लाइड्स ऑन सप्लाई चेन मैनेजमेंट ओके सो सप्लाई चेन मैनेजमेंट इज अशन यू नो इफ यू कैन यू नो टॉक दिस पूरे टायर कोर्सेज ऑन सप्लाई चेन वन कैन गो ऑन एन ऑन एन ऑन एन ऑन एन ऑल ओके सो बट आई एल ट्राई टू गिव यू सम वेरी सिंपल एंड सम बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ओके समथिंग विच इज वेरी रिलेटेबल उसके बाद देन वी विल गेट इन टू मोर यू नो supply chain in an organization how it uh, how it works and what skills you require to work in a supply chain uh, department in an organization so before i start uh, there's a mic no uh, i like to hear from you what do you understand of supply chain management what do you think is supply chain management anybody is, i this will be a very interactive session and i have we have one hour okay so don't worry you take it you can take your time सबके सब आए ना आप लोग सप्लाई चेन सीखने के लिए तो कुछ तो दिमाग में आइडिया होगा ना कि व्हाट इज सप्लाई चेन सो आई आई बी टेलिंग व्हाट आई नो इट्स अ प्रोसेस ऑफ गेटिंग अ गुड प्रोड्यूस्ड इन अ फैक्ट्री हाउ इट्स बीइंग ऑर्गेनाइज्ड इन अ इंडस्ट्री वेदर इट बी स्टोरेज और वेदर इट बी मूवमेंट विद इन द इंडस्ट्री एंड इट्स प्रोसेस ऑफ द गुड रीचिंग टू द एंड कस्टमर वेरी दिस इज अ माइक्रोस्कोप ऑफ um what a supply very, chain very good, very management good. you are absolutely be. right some more people what is supply chain management i want to they, see there is no wrong answer in this okay what i'll do is jo aapka thoughts hai whatever your thoughts are whatever you are saying i'll pick them up and then build on them okay so don't think that i'm looking for a correct answer this is not an examination i want you to participate Just pass the mic here on this table. कहीं पे anybody wants to say what is what is supply chain management? Hi. Uh, And also identify yourself. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, you are there. There is a uh, there is a demand in the system. Okay. And uh, there is also supply. Okay. So in order to meet that demand, the uh, the supplied or produced goods should reach to the demand in effective and efficient way. Okay. the managing all the activities uh, which is involved from a to b okay. is uh, under about the supply chain as you said uh, so many activities uh, it okay meeting demand and uh, you know uh, you're absolutely absolutely right can you pass the bike to the lady here now I'll, since nobody is volunteering i'll have to volunteer people uh i think uh, the need is for the customers where they will be reaching the goods mm. export and import also we can say mm. they reach the every what they need for the uh customer supply to reach uh their products to the whatever need they want sir fantastic on the table back you know i was a back bencher in school always throughout my student life i used to sit on the you know bench bench at the back and the brightest people used to sit at the back hello good morning sir this is lalitendra yeah please. yeah to to meet the customer demands you will be creating supply yeah so to meet this uh, supply and yeah the mic the mic is gone yeah to to meet that uh, demand and supply you will be using supply chain management to achieve okay. it so then i'll ask a simple question everybody is you know giving very nice answers correct answers but in our daily life we are all supply chain managers how as a common citizen as somebody you know not working for a big corporation or a, or a factory we are all supply chain managers can anybody reflect on that how are we supply chain managers and where in our lives we understand supply chain management the best purchasing very good so who is the best supply chain manager by that definition the person who is managing the the person who is managing the house okay very good absolutely right that is the example i wanted to actually come out with so can you give an example what are the decisions 
से दी पर्सन हु इज मैनेजिंग द किचन ही हैज टू टेक सप्लाई चेन का कौन सा डिसीजन लेता है वो इस कैन ही पास द बाइक ऑन देयर प्लीज सो दैट एवरीबॉडी कैन हियर नहीं नहीं यार वी विल स्पीक वेरी गुड इंग्लिश बट द एंड ऑफ द कोर्स ओके बट टू स्टार्ट विद लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड इन फंडामेंटल लैंग्वेज ओके हां आई कांट हियर यू व्हाट इज द डिसीजंस हे वेयर इज द माइक या प्लीज प्लीज Huh. First has to assess the uh, first has to assess the availability of the resources Very there. Good. So what and is that? Uh, availability of resources meaning? Uh, like uh, all the groceries and all, what are left? Because it is not always that we use up everything from the previous month. So that is inventory. Okay. That is inventory. Okay. So we have to assess assess uh, what inventory we have and what is the demand for the month. Yeah. We have to estimate the demand. Okay. And Very good. So when there is a surplus, surplus of resources, okay. we also uh, uh, buy extra goods so that uh, they come at uh, use in the future. Okay. So that is how. So she is explained two principles. One, what is the balance inventory? What is the required inventory? Right. And and what is what has to be done? And storage. These are the three things you spoke about. All very very valid supply chain examples. Anything else? See, you are already uh, covered half the principles of supply chain management. We can finish the class in ten minutes. Okay. Anybody else? Back table. You wanted to speak, na? Just speak a little louder. That's all. There, there was a hand raised from your table. No. Okay. Anybody else? Yeah. And with those supply, uh, with, with, with those uh, resources organized properly in the kitchen. Okay. Okay, it is fine. Uh, Family members with the food needed or with any other uh, mm. um, consumables like. Okay, what are the decision points? What are the decision points in managing a kitchen? Right, supply of uh, these things at the right time. Hey, what is the decision? Number of family members and okay, decision. number of family members will give you estimate of demand. What is what is the two most important decisions that are taken? Call it. Huh? That she already said. Net balance price stock is there. Hmm? Price, also. price. Of course. Are you buying at the right price or not? What else? Very simple answers. Common sensical answers. Quality, price. Of course. Vegetable has to be of good quality. Rice has to be of good quality. Quality. May there will be different price ranges. What else? What do you mean by timeline? right place is kitchen only what about right right time and what else hmm dining table ha dining table is the correct place this is a very good example actually and when they said inventory management using like leaf of leaf using uh, setting expiry dates for everything and using so that there is an effective management so that's, a, that's an element of quality only let us move yeah. on we don't have very much time batao wo do bahut important cheeze hai When you buy, what is the what is the first decision that you make when you when you when you buy something? Very simple answer, common answer. When you buy something, what is the first question? Price. Quality हो गया, price हो गया. That's it. Who said quantity? Very good. So that's the answer I am looking for. Quantity कितना खरीदना है? You know, are you going to buy half a kilo, ten kilo, twenty kilo? Will you buy for entire year or will you buy for next week? Right? So give me some examples around that. When you buy rice, how many days do you take rice? For months. Some people also buy for months, six months. Can also take it. Pura pura, you know, twenty kg bag. Take it. Take it. Some people. Okay. You know, I know. I know. Some people do that. You know, they go to a wholesaler, buy a twenty kg bag, and then it will go for maybe couple of months. And what is the other decision? Usi se related. Then the other decision. What is? Quantity se related. The other decision. What is? Hmm? 
नहीं स्टोरेज नहीं स्टोरेज तो आई एम अज्यूमिंग इफ यू बाई ट्वेंटी के जीज राइज यू हैव अ स्टोरेज ऑफ ट्वेंटी के जीज अवेलेबल और इफ यू डोंट हैव यू विल बाई वन के जी पैकेट वॉट इज द कॉन्सिक्वेंस ऑफ क्वान्टिटी ट्रांसपोर्ट इज विल एड टू दॉस्ट Yes, but what will that lead to? It's a very important concept in supply chain. Very important concept. Quantity is related. Ek or concept because of quantity, you have one more concept. And what? What will that be? No, don't don't speak English. I mean, normal kitchen manager ke jaise socho. Which will lead to what? Which will lead to frequency? How how many of you eat eggs? Practically, lot of people eat. How many how many days after one time you take one egg? So frequency. Requirement. Requirement is depends. If you get twenty uh, days eggs, then you will go after twenty days. If you get go and buy one egg, you will go every day. So what is the what is the what is the principle? The lesser the quantity, the frequency is more. Huh? So what will you have to decide? ओके लेट्स ग्रॉसरी कितने टाइम में आता है व्हाट इज द फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ ग्रॉसरी परचेज वंस इन अ मंथ एंड व्हाट विल बी द फ्रीक्वेंसी इज ऑफ परचेज ऑफ बनानास एंड व्हाई वंस इन अ वीक सॉरी सिबिल खराब हो जाएगा ब्रेड ओके सो द आईडिया इज फॉर एवरी प्रोडक्ट यू विल हैव टू मेक टू डिसीजंस कितना खरीदना कब खरीदना क्लियर इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड दीज टू प्रिंसिपल्स इन लाइफ हाउ मच टू बाय हाउ फ्रीक्वेंटली टू फाय वेन टू बाय वॉट टू बाय हाउ मच टू बाय वेन टू बाय इफ यू नो दीज थ्री आंसर यू कैन बी अ सप्लाई चेन मैनेजर इन द बिगेस्ट कॉपरेशन इन द वर्ल्ड ओके इफ यू डोंट अंडरस्टैंड सप्लाई चेन इज अबाउट थ्री क्वेश्चन वॉट टू बाय वेन टू बाय How much to buy? You don't understand supply chain. Okay, all our housewives, mothers who you know been managing kitchens for centuries, they do say they are best supply chain managers. Okay, they are the best supply chain managers because they know budget itna hai. They know four logo ka khana banna hai ya five logo ka khana banna hai, and within that they have to rotate the inventory. Clear? And uh, let us talk about a few more. Uh, principles what is the, what is the thing we are still missing see once i talk to you know uske baad slides so i will just finish it off in 10 minutes you will understand after we are through with this conversation so i am not taking you to any of the slides what is the other thing other ek ek cheez abhi aur baki hai supply chain samajhne ke liye bolie think there is no wrong or right answer see you have been answering i have been just picking up your answers and building on it okay so don't be afraid nothing is stupid in this world everything is intelligent so what is the thing that you are still missing in the kitchen management need to buy where to buy which is so vendors you have to be qualified vendors now you will if you want to buy vegetables you will have identified a good store na yahan pe acha quality milta hai i will not go to this store he cheats me every time gives me poor quality so vendor qualification your source we how far is the source is it next door or do you have to take a scooter or a car and go to a mall to buy that so where is the location of the source what is the quality what is the price so vendor qualification is a very important thing right when to pay so which are your favorite stores who so for grocery where do you go dmart why do you go to dmart because you almost get a heavy product there you get every product there one and two cheaper the heavy discount on the price but what is the disadvantage of going to dmart uh, you own goods hmm? you you uh, you actually go to buy goods instead you hold goods in lock ah uh, then you ye bhi le lo ye bhi le lo ye bhi le lo and what else disadvantage of dmart is heavily crowded heavily crowded because everybody is going with the same mentality cheapest price ke upar 20 kg leke aa raha hai right okay which is the other thing which is the important principle in supply chain that we are still missing ek element hai which we discussed briefly
सोचो यू हैव दी आंसर यू थिंक अबाउट दिस एवरी डे यू टेक दोज डिसीजन एवरी डे वेन यू वॉक इन टू अ स्टोर एंड यू वॉन्ट यू थिंक आई हैव टू बाई दिस वॉट इज दी अदर थिंग दैट यू डिसाइड अबाउट ऑफकोर्स आई एज्यूम यू आर नॉट अ इम्पल्सिव परचेजर यू नो दे हैव दिस थिंग्स यू नो वेन यू गो टू द बिलिंग काउंटर दे विल पुट दिस चॉकलेट कॉफीज यू नो के अच्छा ठीक है एक चॉकलेट टेलो सो यू डोट नीड अ चॉकलेट बट यू बाई इट बिकॉज इट इज देयर एट द बिलिंग काउंटर दैट इज फाइन शेल्फ लाइफ यू डिस्कस वॉट इज वन मोर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रिंसिपल वेरी सिंपल आंसर एंड वेन आई टेल यू यू विल से ओ ओके सो विच इज अ रिलेटेड टू दैट क्वेश्चन इट इज कैन आई अफोर्ड इट बताइए वो भी ठीक है यू कैन पे क्रेडिट कार्ड यू कैन पे नहीं दैट इज ओके नहीं उससे भी सिंपल वेरी सिंपल परचेज डिसीजन प्राइस वी हैव डिस्कस्ड सो मेनी टाइम पीपल मिच Okay, but that is not the answer I am looking for. Brand. Brand is available alternatives only, but it is something very more, much simpler, much more simpler than that. Budget. Budget say related hai, but I am not talking of budget. We discussed budget already. Very simple answer, boy. Hmm. Any bolo. you need it you have the you have the quality you have the brand you have the pocket money also to buy it but what is the last thing you will decide transport i am within the store transport how to carry hmm matlab how to carry means what think about it the best possible way to reach out to the product nahi nahi carry se socho मैं बताऊं फिर हाउ टू कंज्यूम इट इज पैक साइज नहीं वॉट इज वॉट इज द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ पैक साइज फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई कैन हैव अ वन के जी पैकेट ऑफ लाल मिर्च और आई कैन हैव अ हंड्रेड ग्राम पैकेज ऑफ लाल मिर्च both the decisions are right no but what will make, make you decide whether you okay you going to buy oil okay 5 kg ka bhi oil ka aata hai aapka safola aur aapka 1 kg ka bhi aata hai what makes you decide whether you will buy a 1 kg packet or you will buy a 5 kg packet the demand and your frequency of purchase demand and your frequency of purchase what else consumption rate consumption rate and supposing the shop is very far then you don't want to go every week so you will probably buy a 5 kg this thing other thing is storage available storage if you don't have a store for storing 20 kg rice in your kitchen why why would you buy it okay now even within the kitchen why would you go and buy a 100 gram uh, say mirchi or your turn whatever it is you know dhaliya or haldi or whatever why this depends on the consumption but have you observed that even in the kitchen you can have different storage units how can you can you explain to me with an example the, the ones which we use frequently are uh, right next to this yes and, uh, very less used items are far off the shelves we then we have the top or the end of the kitchen okay there is a very smart supply chain intervention that we people use in a kitchen every day and that is to do with storage and pack size can anybody guess what is that intervention that everybody has in the kitchen louder please i i i can't hear you refrigerator okay refrigerator is a storage but ek bahut hi smart invention hai jo centuries se hai kitchen ke andar or every kitchen has it it is the size of this is this much uh, this is a hint i can give you the medium which can cook which is the gas stove the no, no. masala box the masala box <laughs> the masala box is a beautiful intervention and you see your beautiful invention what is the beauty of a masala box it is store uh, different masalas of a lesser quantity right next to the stove you know what 
अगर आपको यह समझ में आ गया ना आपको टोयोटा प्रोडक्शन सिस्टम समझ में आ गया ओके मसाला बॉक्स इज नथिंग बट समथिंग दैट इज हेल्पिंग यू कीप एन इन्वेंट्री नियर टू वेयर इट इज यूज एंड वेयर इज इट यूज नियर द गैस राइट सो वेन यू हैव अ गैस टो विल यू क्रिएट आउट अ वन के जी मिर्ची एंड वन के जी सॉल्ट एंड वन के जी धनिया एंड वन के जी और उसमें से फिर आप आधा आधा स्पून निकालेंगे विल यू डू दैट यू नो ना सो यू हैव अ मसाला बॉक्स The main storage, supposing a one kg dhania, is somewhere in the in the you know in the cupboard somewhere, right? But as per your needs, every week you will put a small quantity in that masala box. Is it clear? So this is called in supply chain terminology. This is called a two bin system. What is it called? Two bin system. Two bin system. A two bin system means there is a bin which is a larger bin. Larger bin replenishes a smaller bin. And smaller bin is something that you are. Have you ever been to a, you know a, a you know a, a sort of a sit down dinner where people come and serve you from you know say maybe in a in a temple or something they will have four balls one with raita one with sabji one with this thing you know as as a karke jaate that is again a storage intervention okay so are you guys with me so far abhi supply chain samajh mein aa raha hai okay now. the same principles we'll understand how multi billion dollar corporations manage their kitchens okay so now we start the presentation i have 30 minutes chal nahi rakhe so okay next one okay sorry i was late Okay, now we'll uh, you know shift to the corporate side of uh, the discussions. Okay, now why are we discussing and why have you all you know enrolled for this decision is the uh, courses. Supply chains are you know like the weakest or the uh, or the strongest link as it can become. Supply chains are looked as a source of competitive exam like a uh, advantage, and this is they are becoming more complex. They are becoming extended in nature. So you are also a participant here, or yeah. okay? Do you miss the? Uh, no, I'm, I'm just for the. Uh, ah, okay, okay. Not for the. Uh, not for the class. No. Okay, okay. Thank you. Sorry. No, okay. Okay. So I uh, we have spoken all of this. Uh, uh, so one of the principles you've understood so far, what all we were talking about. Okay, can somebody summarize? हमने कौन-कौन से principles अभी तक cover किया? whatever is there at the top of your mind are we spent half an hour discussing can i so buying decisions buying decisions are what with the where, where to buy how to buy and to uh, buy, how, to how buy. much to buy how much to buy how much to buy and uh, then storage then effective utilization of all the resources at one place uh two way which is the major bin and also the second bin which is two way bin um i give you three major pointers what are the three major pointers what to buy when to buy and how much to buy how much to buy okay yeah. three principles now the other principle that i want to talk to you about is the concept of flow what is the meaning of flow <coughs> process ha huh, what does it mean movement ha huh. but what is the objective what when we say flow what is what is it supposed to do we have to deliver at the right place at the right yaar i said no oh, yaar yeah. i have been saying from right from the very beginning that demystify deconstruct talk in simple terms okay let's understand flow in our daily lives where do we encounter flow again go back to the kitchen or go back to your house in our daily life where do you encounter flow flow means what when you say flow sabse pehle kya samajh mein aata hai kitchen bol rahe the mere ko jo hai to are sukhi aata nahi nahi usse bhi pehle something more fundamental in life when you say flow what is the thing word that should come to your mind 
डेली नहीं नहीं वॉट इज द थिंग दैट फ्लोज वॉटर फ्लोज डेली ओके नाउ कैन यू रिलेट वॉटर टू सप्लाई चेन कैन यू रिलेट वॉटर टू सप्लाई चेन वॉट वॉटर के जैसा कोई फ्लो कर सकता है क्या नहीं कर सकता ना सो इफ यू ट्राइंग टू डिजाइन अ सिस्टम दैट फ्लोज वॉट शुड कम टू योर माइंड इंग्लिश नहीं कॉमन सेंस ओके वॉट इज द प्रॉब्लम वी एनकाउंटर विथ फ्लो वॉट आर द प्रॉब्लम वी एनकाउंटर विथ वॉटर लीकेज ऑफ वॉट एल्स वॉट इज द प्रॉब्लम वी फेस इन हैदराबाद वेन टू वी फेस इट वॉट टू वी डू वेन वी फेस वॉटर शॉर्टेज हाँ सो नाउ कन्वर्ट दैट इन टू सप्लाई चेन थिंकिंग क्या मतलब हुआ उसका इफ यू आर हंड्रेड परसेंट गारंटीड दी वॉटर विल ऑलवेज फ्लो इन योर टैप वॉट विल यू डू यू विल बी लीज बॉर्ड अबाउट स्टोरिंग इट बट इफ यू गेटिंग वॉटर फॉर वन आवर अ डे देन वॉट विल यू डू then everybody will try to steal water try to you know fill buckets of water right what happened during covid pandemic jab tu bola ki kal se lockdown hone wala hai what was the first thing all of us did aur khali kar diye shops khali kar diye ha so what did we do kitne din ke liye lamba lamba line vijeta store ke samne you know ratandeep ke samne everybody was holding you know two months of rice two months of atta and you know what else so what does it mean scarcity scarcity means what in terms of flow what happens when flow flow breaks down movement means break down automatically transportation depends on on where it broke down basically from ah. there the, the next uh, the next next process is completely on and they'll, they'll depend on the flow to again get back to again get back the normal and so is it a very good thing to happen no. is it an efficient thing to happen guys क्या हो गया not at all it leads to inefficiencies right because everybody is keeping you know 10 buckets of water everybody is keeping 10 uh, bags of rice so whenever there is a flow that breaks down then it leads to higher inventory carrying costs it leads to storage costs it leads to blocking of resources okay clear so as a supply chain person when you are designing the systems for supply chain your idea is always to ensure that the flow is maintained okay is it clear now how many of you have gone to an uh, airport okay or a railway station okay wahan pe sabse zyada constraint kahan pe hota hai checking or ticketing process and it's airport then checking and okay in the railway station which is the most inconvenient inconvenient place to be yeah wherever there is a crowd it is inconvenient no yes so what does it mean if you see a lot of crowd waiting at the railway platform what is it what does it mean so there is no planning uh, nahi nahi yaar simple what are we discussing we are discussing flow yeah i'll say the reason i said planning is if we plan like for train or for uh, i am helping you plan what is it that you will be thinking about when you try to plan when to come to the station in the first place okay so right that there won't be that crowd for that flow to break acha in a railway plant in a railway station flow is destined to break why in a railway platform flow will break by definition why so um, there is no 
सिंपल सिंपल सोचो वाई विल इट ब्रेक बिकॉज बिकॉज ट्रेन विल कम एट ओनली वन टाइम नो इफ द ट्रेन इज एट इलेवन थर्टी इट माइट बी लेट बट इट वॉन्ट कम बिफोर इलेवन थर्टी सो ऑल ऑफ अस हैव टू वेट टिल द टाइम द ट्रेन कम्स इज इट अ फ्लो द फ्लो इज ब्रेकिंग आई यू फॉलोइंग इट बट इन हैदराबाद देर इज ऑल्सो अ डिफरेंट सिनेरियो वेर द फ्लो डज नॉट ब्रेक सो मच वेर मेट्रो वाइज दैट फ्रीक्वेंसी the frequency is more. And we discuss frequency. Okay, so it's all about flow. If the frequency is not high, right? If the frequency is not right, your flow will break. Okay, and when the flow will break, you will have to provide a place to hold that inventory. What is the inventory on a railway platform? People. Clear? Similarly, when you check in in a in a hotel or check in on a on an airport, pura ka pura line. और इन हू हु वॉज मैंशनिंग डी मार्ट हाँ डी मार्ट में कहां पर कंस्ट्रेन होता है इन द बिलिंग सेक्टर हैव यू एवर बीन टू अस्पिटल ए आई जी हॉस्पिटल गया कोई इज अ ब्यूटिफुल हॉस्पिटल बट वेर इज दंस्ट्रेन अगेन इन द बिलिंग सेंटर डॉक्टर विल गिव यू ओनली टेन मिनट्स ओके बट द बिलिंग यू हैव टू वेट फॉर हाफ एन आवर तिरुपति दर्शन कितने टाइम का होता है 24 फोर आवर्स होता है पर दर्शन कितने टाइम का मिलता है हमको वन मिनट हाफ अ मिनट दर्शन एंड ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स वेटिंग ओके सो द फ्लो इज नॉट सो मच सो ग्रेट राइट सो एवरीथिंग इन लाइफ इज अबाउट फ्लो राइट एंड सप्लाई चेन आई टेक यू थ्रू दाइड आई एक्सप्लेन टू यू हाउ इट इज अबाउट फ्लो ओके बट सम हिस्टोरिकल दिस थिंग जिन कंट्रीज ने फ्लो को ब्रेक किया मतलब की सॉल्व किया दोज आर दंट्रीज विच एक्चुअली मेड एक्सपोरशियल ग्रोथ ओके so for example the railways you know when the britishers they started linking the uh, you know the cotton producing manchester to the pool to the ports and in this case i mentioned river pool that is the time jo unka cotton produced tha jo unka textile tha they put it out on ships and they went out and started sell, selling their you know the output of their industrial revolution and what happened to us to in india because of that they came as traders then came the military and they became political rulers okay they were able to create a flow how by their naval strength and by their railway network okay so flow is that powerful similarly in germany when hitler created those roads called autobahn he created from the centers to all the borders that is where the world war 2 started okay america became wiser and then when eisenhower laid down the highway system that is when the american economy actually took off multi added by a lot of other factors okay but the point that i am trying to make is it is all about flow okay in india if you can take to india again again you know you can uh, talk about okay here i am talking about the silk route remember even right now what is china trying to do you been reading the paper no they are trying to revive the silk route right the cbec corridor via pakistan baluchistan and all the way through middle asia you know to europe that is again it's all about creating a flow it's all about creating a path supply chain everywhere is about creating a path okay and this grand trunk road that we call the national highway 1 that has been there for 3 3000 4000 years you know not not uh, a 300 400 years it is much much older than that okay so great things from the kitchen to world geopolitics politics is all about flow is all about flow okay so that's the second principle that i want to tell you about now coming back to classical textbook supply chain management okay if you go to a business school this is the model that they will tell you about this is the porter uh concept of supply chain and when i started the class all of you were talking about this thing vendor inventory customer what else okay operations technology procurement all that this is the classical mba textbook this thing and that is what you have been reading and that is what you have been okay but now this and what we discussed in the last 40 minutes can you connect it can you connect it if you understand how you manage the kitchen if you understand that your job is to ease the flow then you will understand this otherwise this is just english and we are here to learn we are not here to learn english okay we are here to learn supply chain okay so as a supply chain person if out of this class 
or 45 minutes if you have taken away just one thing whenever you see a flow getting blocked means what your supply chain mind has to start thinking why is this blockage there security clearance ke liye if there is a huge line then what is to be done billing counter pe there is a huge line then what is to be done if people are waiting for a bus what is to be done idea is that things should keep on things should keep on flowing okay now this is something i wanted to add on uh, here now again we can understand this from a concept of flow these are all names of companies i have masked it because they are our industry knowledge but let us start from here these are our customers okay these customers buy from our marketing you know setups from here we are manufacturing our medicines here we are manufacturing what is called apis in pharmaceutical these are chemicals that are required for making apis these are key starting materials so in the modern world you have to not just think on single point where there could be a constraint okay think of constraint please note down the word constraint jahan pe aapko blockage dikha matlab constraint what are other words for constraint challenges no 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 don't know english again constraint means what constraint means blockage Const hiccups again english हार्ट का अटैक तो होता है का हार्ट हिकअप होता है क्या मतलब दिस आई एम ट्राइंग टू गिव व्हाट इज व्हाई डज व्हाई डज अ पर्सन गेट हार्ट अटैक कंस्ट्रेंट व्हाट इज द कंस्ट्रेंट ब्रेकेज इन द फ्लो ऑफ द ब्लड व्हाट ब्रेक्स द फ्लो ऑफ द ब्लड क्लॉट और वॉल्व नहीं वॉल्व नहीं हां वहां पे आपके डिपॉजिट्स हो they stop they stop the flow of oxygen that is when heart attacks happen okay so stoppages blockages constraint aur kya bologe think of more words that can describe constraints bottlenecks obstructions obstructions okay so as supply chain thinkers you are supposed to just <coughs> observe for where the flow is breaking clear okay now coming back to this phase so when you looking at a corporate network you will have to look at where the flow is breaking you know here your customer is not getting the medicine okay so you might think that the constraint is here but where why should it be why where could the constraint be it can be right in the middle of it could be anywhere here. it could be here it could be here it could be here okay but if the constraint is here see supposing this tell me kahan kon kon sa kon kon se log effect honge let's trace line idhar se jaake idhar se jaake yahan pe impact aayega let us trace one more line idhar bhi impact aayega okay so one constraint will have a multiplying effect okay so when you are managing global supply chains also the same thinking I'll give you an example. You're not getting water in your uh, house. What will the person come and tell you? Your president of the society will come and tell you. Oh, Manjira line, कहीं दूर पे block हो गया, टूट गया, break हो गया. So that is why you will not get water in the next next ten days. We are arranging water tankers. Clear? Yeah. Okay. So where the blockage is happening, it is very important for you to know in your supply chains. Any questions? Okay. now i just tell you a little bit history again with whatever we have alexander was the first person to you know introduce the concept of lot size lot size abhi humne kab discuss kiya we talked about lot size 5 kg or 100 kg tube bin system masala box and what did alexander do alexander marched for around i don't know 5000 miles or something all the way from macedonia greece se leke he came and fought a war with porus then he suffered heavy losses and he went back but he came to india that is remarkable what was his innovation aapko malum hai kya heavy heavy the weights so what he did was in the older times you know army ko kya chahiye hota hai what is an army need to travel supplies food so all these supplies used to be in the form of a train jo 
पीछे चलता था आर्मी के सेट इज टू स्लो दर्मी डाउन सो वॉट इज सेड एवरी सोल्जर विद कैरी वन डे सप्लाई ऑन हिज ओन शोल्डर ऑन हिज बैक पैक सो वॉट ही डेड वॉज ही ब्रोक डाउन द इन्वेंट्री वन के जी मसाला वर्सेज हंड्रेड ग्राम मसाला ही सेज वन डेज रिक्वायरमेंट कंजम्पन एवरीबडी शुड कैरी एंड दैट बिकेम अ पैक साइज डिसीजन इनोवेशन नेपोलियन डिड द सेम थिंग नेपोलियन ने बोला कि द आर्मी वॉच इज बाट इज ऑन इट स्टमक ओके एंड ही फाउंड आउट दैट लॉट ऑफ इज सोल्जर्स वर डाइंग बिकॉज ऑफ डिजीज बिकॉज ऑफ मेल नरिशमेंट बिकॉज ऑफ नॉट गेटिंग प्रॉपर फूड सो ही अनाउंस द कॉम्पिटिशन ही सेड एनी बडी हू कैन गिव मी ए सोल्यूशन टू एंश्योर दैट द फूड रीच इज इन अ प्रॉपर प्लेस वे टू द सोल्जर्स देन दे ही हैव अ प्राइज सो वॉट वॉज द इनोवेशन वॉट वॉज द इन्वेंशन The French people actually invented the canned pack of food. You get canned food, no juices and all that. That was a part of a again a military intervention. Okay. Now here this is important. Sorry. Ah. Huh. Ford. Everybody talks of Ford. Do you know what is the intervention that Ford did? Quickly, five minutes ke under. फोर्ड कौन था डॉट हम्म और वॉज इट अॉलीवुड एक्टर नो ऑटोमोबाइल मैनुफैक्चर वॉट कौन सी कार फोर्ड की कौन सी कार होती है गुड सो वॉट वॉज दी वॉट वाई इज दी रिमेंबर्ड इन एज अ सप्लाई चेन मैनेजर यू नो बिफोर फोर्ड actually made his uh, in law changes in manufacturing how much time do you think a car car manufacturing takes how much time do you think 6 months and ford as a manufacturer automobile manufacturer was integrated all the way from rubber plantations to rubber tires to iron ore okay it you would imagine that it would take 6 months but if there is a flow it shouldn't uh, if there is a flow how much time do you think it took Take less than a day. Uh, it should take within a day. Uh, okay, so it from six months he actually compressed the time to eighty hours. Okay, end to end. And what was the intervention that he did because of which he was able to you know implement the concept of flow? So uh, um, having appended resources in each and every process in the flow. So right. that the chain wouldn't break anywhere. But if you have read about Ford manufacturing, then you would know what I am talking about. Think, think, think. When you are collecting your baggage from an airport after getting down from an air aircraft, what is it that? कन्वेयर बेल्ट इज देयर वॉट इज द कन्वेयर बेल्ट सपोज टू डू क्या करता है वो रोटेट करता है फ्लो क्रिएट करता है ओके फोर डेट द सेम थिंग ही क्रिएटेड समथिंग विच इज कॉल्ड अ असेंबली लाइन टेक्निक असेंबली लाइन टेक्निक में क्या होता है एवरीबडी विल डू देयर जॉब आदमी यहां पर खड़ा हुआ है द कार विल कम इफ ही सपोज टू फिट सम बोल्ट विल डू कट 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 देन इट गोज टू सी नेक्स्ट counter then which is is ke upar next item to be performed over there the person will do his fitting then it goes earlier what used to happen was the car chassis was stationary okay and man was running around okay he used to go and get the door then he used to go and get the stamp part then he used to go and get the bolt machine was stationary person was running here to there very inefficient way to do it okay but if you put it on a flow on a assembly line then it became faster okay so productivity improved many many times okay similarly can we uh, give an example from say eating food where do you see this flow similar way buffet system buffet system when you have a buffet system when you have to feed huge number of people even you will either make them sit down in a line and somebody will come and serve or yeah, let the customers or let the food be stationary and let the person be mobile okay Food stationary person mobile, person stationary food mobile. 
okay these are the kind of decisions that allow you to play around similar thing happens in manufacturing it is only a always a question of whether the material is stationary person is mobile the assembly point is stationary or parts are mobile okay so sim and taichi you know he improved it further we don't have time to discuss the toyota manufacturing system but again somebody was mentioning about having the inventory where it is needed okay right taichi you know did that toyota did wherever the inventory is needed we'll place the inventory over that then come to digital now so there is something which is called a mrp material requisition planning it is nothing but a digital way of doing what how much of bread to buy how much of eggs to buy so inventory management when you do it on a monthly way on a computer system it is called material requisition planning because you're dealing with 10000 products to buy or few thousand products to buy okay then enterprise resource planning which is like sap oracle these are the platforms where you do all this and then toc we'll talk a little bit more about toc in the subsequent slides now on a organization basis there is the next step which has happened which is called a integrated business planning okay now integrated business planning where you integrate your customer inventory with your external warehouses which is the language you all understand now okay erps and secondary sales notes everything when you put it all together and you have long term capacity okay and you have uh, your financial budgeted planning with that demand planning when you integrate all these processes for an organization then we are looking at something which is called a integrated business planning this we have already discussed this part is clear to everybody yes, yes. okay now the problem over here is that we always know that either we are carrying high inventory or we have no inventory okay somebody in the uh, house wanted today as to chicken khana hai okay but then you go to the freezer there is no chicken so that is stock out you don't have inventory okay but if you have a licious app and you say okay within one hour i'll be able to you know order some chicken or i can order an, or order it on swiggy that is not a problem but if that thing is not there you are will not be able to have chicken that day right other thing is you have lot of tomatoes in the fridge but you are not using them so that is excess inventory and what will happen to that inventory after some time it will get rotten it will perish so you so excess inventory is a bad problem short inventory is also a bad problem so as a supply chain person what is the thing that you are trying to do all the time optimize, optimize. you saying ke when i require the inventory i should have that inventory when i require to wash my face i should open the tap i should get water i should not have to have a bucket of water bucket full of water to help me wash my face okay when i need the demand when i have the demand then i should be have the skills to be mated okay so basically again you have a flow to be maintained okay now everything that we are discussing now i'm just putting it in some charts morning sir so for example one of the strategies is a reorder point strategy so whenever you realize that a inventory is falling below a certain level say you will order okay when you say only you have say six eggs left in the fridge you will go out and buy 12 more eggs okay so that is the reorder point strategy okay now what is the disadvantage in this what is the fix disadvantage in this strategy is that depending on consumption the next time when you order will change okay so if you are consuming one egg every day you know that after every 6 days i will go and i have to go and order but if your consumption is irregular then your next order might be in after 2 days or your next order might be after 10 days okay see over over here t t1 and t2 are they are different frequency of purchase is different but what is the same the point at which you are reordering the dotted line clear so this is one strategy let's look at some other strategy here you say no matter what i consume i will go and buy every 3 days okay because supposing there is a supplier who comes to you for only every 3 days okay or say you are buying something that comes every day so every day a supplier comes you buy but what will change your consumption will change okay so here you had the x axis which was stable but here you see t1 and t2 t2 is same but your consumption is it is varying okay so we were giving a lot of examples or sir about the airport management 
So, good that you are here now. So, wait, what did we discuss? Where are the constraints in the airport? Near security gate and Okay, Swarup sir is the CEO of GMR Airport, so it's better that you tell him all your complaints here right now. Yeah, yeah, I'll take note of it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, calendarized order cycle is something which helps an organization put it into a structure. Okay. Now, calendar means that I will buy on say every 25th of every month. Every 25th of every month, I will take a stock of what is required and then whatever is the consumption for the next month, I will order. But calendars are different in some way 30 days, I will have 31 days, 28 days. So, some variability comes in over there. But calendarizing, okay, instead of frequency, I, I, frequency means what? After every 10 days, after every 3 days or something, okay. So, you have to maintain that frequency, but one very easy way of doing the frequency is calendarizing it. So, everybody, you know every house there are people who have chronic diseases, you know everybody, somebody is taking diabetes medicine, somebody is taking say uh, blood pressure medicine. So, th these people will say every 25th of month I will place the order for the for the next month. So, calendarizing your purchase decision or production decision or any sort of a planning decision, this is another way of doing it. Okay, so one of the things we have to understand is there, there is a lead time for procurement. Okay, a lead time of procurement means that if you order now, Swiggy says I will give you in 10 minutes, right? Instamart says I will give you in this thing. So they have committed a lead time. So there is a transportation lead time, everything. But what is the lead time which is the most uncertain? Okay, let me give you an example. Once you go and uh, or go and have food in a restaurant, what is the time where which what is the activity in which most time is spent? Waiting for the order. Waiting for the order. So, that is order lead time. What else? What are the other lead times in a restaurant? Consuming the food, that is a consumption lead time. What else? Before you place an order, there is one more activity. Huh. What happens when you order a food? When you have, have you gone out with friends, with family? क्या होता है उस time पे? हाँ? हाँ. What what happens normally? How does that conversation happens? I will have one single chow mein. I will also have chow mein. Okay. So let us make it two chow mein. No no. I will not order chow mein. I'll have I'll have biryani today. So they okay. Then make it two biryani. Then what happens? What what happens? So if you bigger the group, larger the problem, and somebody will say at some point of time will be so fed up with the entire discussion. यार तुम्हें जो order करना करो यार मेरे को नहीं खाना, you know, right? So have you is it familiar that that scenario? So the decision which is called the actual order lead time is this. This is the decision point where you are making the decision what to order. How much to order? When to order? Okay, and this is not something that happens on family outings in restaurants. This happens in every organization. And the bigger the decision, sir, you would have experienced, you know, capex decision. You know, whether to expand, not to expand. It goes into so much iteration. So the maximum headache, maximum inefficiency, is the decision point that people take about this point. Transporter takes two days. He will take two days. Manufacturing takes three days. Manufacturing will take three days. Okay, that is not where the inefficiency is. Inefficiency is your decision-making process. Clear? So, if it is a decision-making process is inefficient, what will happen? What will happen in the terminology of what we discussed? Flow will break. Stoppage of flow. Constraint will emerge. Okay? Somebody will be waiting at a check-in counter. Somebody will be waiting at the gate because the airport did not take decisions to add more boarding gates, right? So, he will have to optimize, right? Again, we came back to the example of water. Inventory should be there when we need it. If we open a tap, it should be available. Clear? 
is it making sense about after all what we discussed have you ever traveled by an rta road within two cities road transportation what happens why why do we have you seen this picture on the roads on the left why 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 is this behavior uh, observed because there is no frequency in the road transport and and uh, people are aware that the next bus will not come probably not come yeah. for the next day and what is the other business decision he is taking morning sir yeah. what is it bus what is the bus owner trying to do over here as a businessman what is he trying to do are hmm? hmm what what is the reason that you are seeing this picture as a bus owner why is he behaving like this why is he allowing this more people means more revenue more people means more revenue he wants more money for the same bus ideally what should we have done he should have brought two buses or three buses so he is loading his asset okay so i don't know how much a bus costs nowadays maybe 15 lakhs 20 lakhs or something but for him a bus is an asset he is trying to maximize the return on his investment okay so he is trying to maximize load clear but here what happens in a hyderabad metro you are trying to regulate time what did we discuss frequency you know if i miss one metro after 5 minutes one more metro train will come so you are not bothered so you don't see this in metro metro rails right it's all about supply chain what is the load what is the frequency right what is the capacity clear Okay, so the same same principles we actually apply when we are setting it setting up a distribution channel, and this is the example that I am taking for our network of CFA. So there are in the pharmaceutical industry there are distributors. After the distributors, you have the chemists. Okay, now there are regional warehouses which we call CFAs. There is a global distribution, manufacturing, material warehouse, and vendors. Okay, end to end. Now understand from what we discussed. as a supply chain manager if this was your network what is your objective to maintain a continuous flow because every break in the process absolutely right fantastic which means what you have to ensure at every point there is all right we have been talking now what do you want at every warehouse inventory inventory okay so in every point if you have good inventory then we actually code it as green if your inventory is replenish you know diminishing then we say okay it's time to order but when the inventory comes becomes red then you say there is a there is a possibility of a stock out customer might come he might have an order but i will not have inventory so when you break down your inventory in this manner color code it and then see where is the constraint if it is a red what does it mean reorder reorder immediately in our terminology what is it called constraint constraint that point has become constraint the previous point is constraint that is why you are not able to have inventory okay you don't have time to go into warehousing strategies but these are the points that you have to basically keep in mind availability of inventory maintaining of flow eliminating of constraint what to buy when to buy how much to buy frequency of purchase these are the principles that i am leaving you with okay uh do we have time or do we wind up okay yeah sometimes okay okay so now you have understood our supply chain principles at the back okay now after having understood the principles now let us go back to and understand in an organization in a in a commercial setup how do people set up their teams how do they organize themselves to as to ensure everything that we discussed about frequency quantity quality vendor assurance this that everything how is it managed in an organization so a typical supply chain organization there is a marketing team there is a which will basically give you the demand there is a demand planning team what a demand planning team is does is something what the lady over here mentioned that in a kitchen the housewife will go and see how much inventory is already there and calculate the net inventory requirement okay so demand planning team actually calculates net inventory requirement 
after the net requirement requirement is calculated then we do one more thing then the net requirement we convert into a production plan okay now this so net is what we have to manufacture so that net requirement is converted into a production plan that is done by the production planning team okay production plan ka kya matlab hai how what do we understand it simply means please manufacture this 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 okay and you go to uh, say say a uh, so when you go to a restaurant okay say to a take away joint say you go to mcdonald or kfc or angara you know a tandoor joint what are those manufacturing orders how is that communication transferred to the kitchen कभी तुम सिद्धि की कबाब काउंटर पे गए हो वहां पे कौन सा ईआरपी होता है वॉट इज एट मीडियम वेटर कम्स एंड टेक्स एन ऑर्डर सो दैट इज एन ऑर्डर स्लिप ओके दैट इज डिमांड प्लानिंग ओके सो द वेटर इन अ रेस्टोरेंट इज योर डिमांड प्लानर हु इज योर प्रोडक्शन प्लानर शेफ तो प्रोडक्शन मैनेजर है हु इज अ प्रोडक्शन प्लानर Store manager बहुत बाद में आता है ओके यू आर द शेफ हाउ इज हाउ इज इट कम्युनिकेटेड टू अफ वॉट इज टू प्रोड्यूस दैट इज कॉल्ड किचन स्लिप सो वो बोलेगा कि चार तंदूरी रोटी एक मलाई टिक्का वो करके एक ऑर्डर वो चला जाता है सो ओके इट माइट बी अ पीस ऑफ पेपर डेट विल एंड अपन टू अ डस्टबिन ओके बट वेन यू एक्सट्रपोलेट द सेम लर्निंग इन अ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विच इज टेन बिलियन डॉलर it is again the same principle it is a production order a production order is nothing but nothing but a slip that tells the plant manager this is the order is it clear okay so a kitchen slip is nothing but your production order but how does he do it he will combine all the production orders he will say 10 tandoori here 4 tandoori here 5 tandoori here all put together 20 tandoori rotis i have order for he will put 20 tandoori rotis in the tandoor okay that is your production planning clear any erp required over there no, no required okay only one tandoor now for having that tandoor running you need to have material what is the material raw material flour or something that is what supply planning so you will know every month i will need 100 kg of ashirwad atta so he will do that then he will give a how much to order is a supply planner's job then he will give the order to a purchase manager he will go and order to the supplier okay and then when all this is done then you have outbound logistics and inbound logistics now is it clear so the same kitchen example same tandoor example waiter is your demand planner okay the person who is giving the kitchen slips is your production planner then you have the production manager then scheduler scheduler will just detail it out for you what comes first what order first which order second he just sequencing it giving and giving a order of priority then inbound logistics and outbound logistics supply big organizations 100 crores or 20000 crore or 100000 crores this is the structure clear same as siddiqui kebab center clear global again we had this network of cfas and all that again the same principle when you are supplying what is the inventory here what is the inventory here what is the inventory at customer whether you are a local supplier or whether you are a global supplier same principles of inventory and blocking flow clear okay so this is maybe we can skip that or you want to do this so there is something we discussed about continuous flow where did we discuss continuous flow uh, assembly line assembly line okay and what is the other way of doing it which will create breakage in the system but it's still a manufacturing process it is a batch okay can you give me some examples of batch where you experience batches in daily life daily life batches medicines the fantastic answer so medicines are manufactured in batches so they will say this batch means this particular batch of apis this manufacturing date this factory so this will have a batch number 
any more examples fmcg fmcg but again let us talk very basic so you said it's daily life i'm saying college uh, classes being divided into batches absolutely brilliant answer so there is there is there are batches you know 1919 batch 20 batch 21 batch where is i want some more fundamental examples uh have you ever gone to a marriage function and waited for a roti to come on the table ttd um so what happens is it happens with me many times you know i go and pick up everything rice curry dal everything but when i go and ask pick one and pick, you know stand in front of the non counter it's coming it is coming why the next batch is coming okay so everything where you are bundling together a batch batch is nothing but a process completing together okay so when you break the flow but you break it in a way that makes it still predictable combining things together it is a batch one train traveling is a batch passengers on an aircraft is a batch okay students in an air is a batch pack of medicines is a batch metro line again every 10 minutes it's a different batch okay so when you are not one is a con continuous flow like as pristine as flow of water everything else is the smaller your batches the better you are nearer to flow but you have very big batches then you have railway platform scenario right okay i think we'll conclude here uh, but out of this which do you think the diagrams the left hand side or the right hand side which is more complex the right hand side right hand side is more complex yes. everybody agrees why do you say no the left one the left one because right one has at least some flow and uh, display on what the manner of uh, flow is whether hmm. it be but this one has no directions any any more points of view it has no clue on what it's doing any any more any more points of view which is more complex okay what is the sense of the house which is more complex left or right How many people say the this one is? How many of people say this one is more complex? Raise your hands. On okay, three, four. All the others are saying this is more complex. Why? Because it has too many lines. But actually, the reality is this is more complex. The reason why it is more complex is if you have to manage this system, you have to have four different interventions. this is has its own degree of freedom this has its own degree of freedom this has its own degree of freedom and this has its own degree of freedom but in this interconnected thing if you change one you can change everything are you following so you will always be able to find that particular point that will influence all the points right identify the blockage identify the blockage right so this is what happens you know if some some train misses or some aircraft misses the everything goes for a toss okay so the one on the right is less complex because by changing that red dot you can this thing so we discuss started the flow uh, discussion with flow and this is just my personal thought the greatest person to have implemented supply chain management in the world globally is our own father of the nation mahatma gandhi now after having understood this can you explain how we started the discussion that in the cotton rich manchester state where the textiles were produced how the flow was created to the port of liverpool and from the liverpool uh, port of liverpool how these industrial goods and textiles they came all the way to all the colonies what did the britishers establish from manchester to all the cities in india what was established a distribution channel yeah what does that mean he created a supply chain the britishers created a supply chain of merchandise that came from their manufacturing locations to all the places in india so it is a supply chain issue it's a supply chain management scheme they had set up right so to break that scheme what was to be done uh, hmm you have to you have to break the flow all the time we have been thinking of setting up flow now we are talking about 
breaking the flow. How did he break the flow? What was that? What is the movement named? Breaking the flow. Boycott movement. He said, okay, you have the supply, but I don't have the demand. Okay, so all the economic flow that was happening, he stopped it by boycott movement. But by creating a boycott, the demand does not go away, na? So alternate movement had to be created. What was that? Swadeshi movement. Okay, how much? What was the? How much trillion dollar was a British Empire? I don't know. Uh, it is if you look at some of Shashi Tharoor's videos, it is like many many trillion dollars empire, you know. And which CEO can take out a competitor that was let's say ten trillion dollars? Have you? Can you name any CEO of the modern world? No. But but by applying supply chain principles, that competition was destroyed. Can you see this thing which we think as politics as supply chain problem now? Is it clear? Okay, chakka jam karte sare ke sare log na politics. What is that? Breaking of flow. Okay, so breaking of flow, making of flow, is all what is life is all about. Okay, so I'll conclude my lecture over here. These are again examples that create flow. I think some of them you understand. Panama Canal, the Rajiv Gandhi say, you know, this thing, Setu in Bombay, double track, track trains. Uh, this is a, a Russian aircraft. So all of these interventions are done for. creating flow just like the masala box in our kitchen clear thank you so much if you understand kitchen you understand everything in life hello uh Ravi sir, it was quite a interesting class, and also we felt that uh, the inputs were given by you were you know taking a realistic examples made so meaningful to us you know to understand the basic principles of global uh, logistics supply chain management. Thank you for that, and uh, I request all the participants to give a big round of applause to Ravi sir, uh, dedicating his time uh, coming to CFTCC and uh, giving his valuable insights to our participants. and i request to lokesh sir to take the dais please just a small request to sorov sir to please hand over the token of appreciation to sir so please uh, ravi sir please join us on the stage kamal sir please join us on the stage have a photograph Uh, now we can break for a short tea break, and thereafter, like we'll call you all for the inauguration. So please.
very good afternoon to one and all. Uh, my name is Vasundar. I'm pursuing uh, my MBA from Geetam University, Hyderabad. Uh, and I want to know like what uh, industry is looking for. Uh, like uh, if I want to be a job, uh, if I if I want to be job ready, or if I want to start a business, what I industry is looking for in students or uh, any person who wants to get into the supply chain sector? Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'm Bharat. I just want to know how the supply chain works in the industry. And that's it, just for now. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Sai Prasad. I just want to know that uh, how the full logistics supply chain working. I want to know more knowledge about that. Yeah. Please, please also uh, introduce your organization in case you are working somewhere. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Bhavna. Uh, I've came here to know what student need uh, know to, uh, need to know to join in a supply chain management organization. So, isn't it interesting to see more ladies this time for this? Yes, very interesting. Yeah. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Sahiti. I'm from Geetam University. I want to know what are the current trends in the supply chain industry. Yeah. So, final year? Uh, yeah, final year. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Charan Madlori from uh, Geetam University, pursuing my second year MBA. And I want to know what are the current happenings in the industry uh, so that I can understand what skill set I should possess to get an opportunity in this particular field. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I am Manila, and I am from Geetam University. So I am looking forward to meet new people, network more, get to know uh, more about supply chain and management because in classrooms we have seen examples or be it uh, uh, our textbook knowledge. We want to see uh, and learn from more practical experiences because we have dignitaries here heading, uh, you know, million dollar companies or chair, uh, chairpersons. So we want to get that practical knowledge so that we can apply it in our own uh, lives so that we can ahead in the career. Thanks. Uh, how did you come to know about this program? Uh, from my college professor, sir. We, we, did, uh, we did a presentation to the faculty and our team visited them. That's right. uh, how many from Geetam we have? So we are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Shailaja. I have graduated from Indian Maritime University, Chennai. Currently, I am looking, currently I am working in Team Global Logistics Company. Uh, I want to know about more uh, logistics and export and imports. Yeah, good afternoon, one and all. This is Lalitendra Kanchiputla from Krishna University. Before entering into any industry, we would like to know what does the industry requirements and for their sake only I'm here uh, that is the reason why I joined in this certification course along with my friends thank you hi everyone I'm Satvika from Krishna University uh, I'm, I'm came here uh, to know about the uh, logistics and uh, supply chain that will help uh, to my career so that's all thank you Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Pranati. I am here to learn about the logistics and supply chain management uh, so that uh, how it is going to help me in the future. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Padmanjani. So I'm here to learn about supply chain management. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Pratap. Uh, we both came from Bank of Boda representatives. Bank of Baroda. Bank of Baroda. Yes. Why? What was the objective? Actually, I am working in trade finance department, ma'am. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Kishore. I am MSME head in Bank of Baroda, Hyderabad metro region. So we have come here to meet some industry professionals and uh, understand how exactly this logistics happens. Thank you. Uh, 
Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, myself, Rahul Kumar. I'm from the organization Cargom and Logistics India Private Limited. And uh, I'm here to learn about the supply chain management and develop myself. That's it. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Rajesh Kumar. I'm from Cargom and Logistics. So I want to learn supply chain management and implement this knowledge with my team and to develop the whole area of my team. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is Nagaraj from Fourth Partner. I came here to get the thorough knowledge on imports and exports. Uh, this is Mohan Pati. I am on behalf of Mirai Girls Private Limited. We are into women hygiene products and we are already in Pan India level and exporting to Dubai, Australia, Nepal and Bangladesh. So here I am here today to learn something more in respect to the global logistics. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Shrikant. I'm from Whitworth Engineers Private Limited. We are the manufacturers, and we just started exporting nail coils. We manufacture nail coils for wooden packaging industries. Um, so I've got to know this course through FTCCI. We recently joined as a member, and that's how I got to know this. And uh, I'm here to know about uh, supply chain management as a microscopic view, where I can I, I get to know each and every uh, little aspects, uh, whether it be customs or Everything in the supply chain management, yeah. So, yeah, that's what I'm here for. And thanks for this uh, opportunity, ma'am. Uh, I'm Mani Bhushan. Uh, I'm working in Batco CFS right now. Uh, Batco CFS. Uh, uh, I want to uh, gain some uh, uh, experience in this industry to uh, help myself and uh, in my organization also. Thank you. Namaste. Napir Vedar Rastrin was. I'm the Clairvoyant, along with the Tollywood uh, producer also. <laughs> I have uh, three firms. One is uh, Sri Mandram Productions. And the based on this, I'm doing the one picture recently that is released to Yamadhira and the enemies. Second one is uh, Sri Mandram Traders and Services. That is the, and the distributor of uh, Tessa Tips India Private Limited. Along with, I am starting the new the exports and imports also. Thank you. I am Tarang. I am from Pokorna Engineering Stone Limited. I want to learn more in imports and export. Bring him, no, bring him. Hi everyone, this is Mahatab and I am working as a SAP warehouse consultant. So I just want to expand my knowledge, so that's why I joined this course. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, good afternoon, sir. I am Sahu from GMR Air Cargo Sabsabad. I want to learn more knowledge about logistics and supply chain management. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon, sir. I'm Maria Majon. I'm from GMR Air Cargo. I came here to know more about and I want to explore here about supply chain management, sir. Thank you. Good afternoon, one and all. Uh, myself, from Manikanta. I'm working in GMR Air Cargo. Uh, thanks, Saro, sir, for uh, giving this opportunity to us. Uh, uh, to improve my professional uh, skills for uh, myself and uh, organization. Hi, uh, good afternoon all the dignit dignitaries uh, on the dais. Myself, Manoj Kumar, I am working with uh, GMR uh, Hyderabad Air Cargo. I am here to just uh, 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 to brush up uh, the supply chain management uh, skills as well as uh, these skills need to be implemented at the organization level and also meet the uh, industry specialist and uh, to gain out of their knowledge uh, throughout these sessions. Thank you. Thank you so much. If guests to arrive and we can start the inaugural session. So put your hands together for our chief guest, Mr. E. V. Narsimha Reddy, Vice Chairman and Managing Director, Telangana State Industrial Infrastructure Corporation Limited. So we're very thankful to Mr. Reddy uh, for always encouraging us. And um, I think from last three, four years, uh, the FTCCI has taken conscious steps in organizing a lot of skill programs. And also thanks to our guest of honor, Mr. Gautam Jain, that we would be uh, establishing an FTCCI Pokerna Skill Center. So uh, 
and uh, thanks to the chair uh, mr saurabh and the whole committee for coming out with this uh, curriculum on global logistics and supply chain management and just for the information of mr reddy so this is a second cohort that uh, we are going to start so today is the first session and we have 35 of them who have enrolled and few of them online and i think there are few who are going to join from the next session so this will be run over for a period of 3 months every saturday so thank you so much and we'll start we'll begin the program and i request uh, president to please present a uh, film we have shown to all of them <laughs> i request president to pr present plant and welcome our chief guest and the guest of honor Uh, for the guest of honor yeah mr gautam jain mr gautam jain uh, gautam chan jain is a chairman and managing director of pokarna limited i now invite the president for his welcome address Narsimharadi, Vice Chairman and MD of TSIIC, Gautam Chand Jainji, Chairman and Managing Director of Pokarna Limited. Good afternoon to all the dignitaries on and off the dais and participants. Welcome to you all. Welcome to you all to this Global Logistics and Supply Chain Management course. It gives me immense pleasure. to inform you that ftcci keeps on involving and introducing new and innovative courses and events in partnership with government agencies like tsic tptdc uh, industries department energy department etc logistics is the fuel that powers countries international trade it determines the success of supply chain keeping this in keeping this in uh, that in mind ftcci has curated one of its unique course on global uh, logistics and supply chain management to depart the required knowledge to the industry professionals and students and get them prepared to face huge challenges in this sector with the introduction of national logistic policy and pm gati shakti national master plan and Na logistics policy for telangana it is opening wide avenues and opportunities in this sector even the fourth leads survey 2022 released released two days back says there is a shortage of skilled manpower for logistic related activities in the state which shows a huge opportunity for all the participants telangana has taken several steps in the in this in the past years for the logistics sector and this has resulted in achieving more than 90% score in logistical efficiency as per the lead survey report 2022 this has created a ground and reason for all of us to pursue a career in evolving transportation and logistics sector some of the major steps taken by telangana government is telangana has already come up with the ev policy encouraging green logistics Telangana government has provided for financial and other incentives in the industrial and logistic policy of the state. The government has improved road connectivity especially in the cities by connecting arterial roads to the highways within the city. It has also introduced Telangana Road Transport Corporation to deliver cargo into the every nook and corner of the state. The transportation needs trends in the past years have been evolved drastically solutions such as increased use of digital uh, platforms innovation and technological advancements have made possible for seamless movement of goods and services right from distribution of vaccines to medical equipments groceries household essentials has been 
carried out effectively due to advanced logistic infrastructure and supply chain management. Recently, we have attended an event, Coal Chain Unbroken 2022. And I was a part of the inaugural event, wherein we have unveiled the next generation pharma container of SkyCell. It maintains temperature between 2 degrees to 8 degrees centigrade, up to 270 hours. And it doesn't require any power or battery support. It has real-time visibility with secure and easy access. It provides sustainability, extra protection, and extra efficiency to preserve vaccines and perishable products. We have even noticed that in recent years, the logistic industry is flourishing to become one of the most rapidly growing industry in the Indian economy. According to analysis, the logistic market will be expanding to more than $12 trillion by 2023. Logistics sector will see continuous growth in the usage of artificial intelligence, data analytics, machine learning, automated warehousing, autonomous, autonomous vehicles, and data science in logistics. I would further like to inform you that we are coming up we are coming up with an international conference on shipping and logistics to be held at HICC Novotel, Hyderabad on 23rd November 2022. I request everybody to join and benefit from the deliberations of various speakers from all over the globe. Last but not the least, I really appreciate the support provided by TSIIC, TSTPC, GMR, Mahalakshmi Profiles Limited, Pokarna Limited in organizing such course of great relevance and provide knowledge to one and all. And I especially thanks to the committee, which they have taken initiatives in conducting. This is the second cohort which we are doing. And uh, first one was also very successful. This is more successful. And we are coming up with the international conference, as I said, on 23rd November. I hope you, you will take the best of knowledge with this course and wish you best of luck. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, sir, for your insightful speech. Uh, now I welcome uh, Mr. Uh, Saurav Kumar, Chair, Logistic and Shipping Committee, to uh, give his introductory remarks. Good afternoon. Uh, warm welcome and my pleasure uh, welcoming uh, Chief Guest uh, Sri Narasimha Reddy ji. VC and MD TSIIC, Mr. Jain, uh, Managing Director Pokarna, President uh, FTCCI Anil ji, Senior Vice President uh, Mila Jaydev ji, and uh, my uh, <coughs> co-chairs uh, in the Shipping and Logistics Committee, Kamal Jain ji, Iqbal ji, and uh, Ravi Prakash Mathur ji. So it's and, and to all of you, it's, it's my pleasure uh, speaking uh, on this. I think uh, about a year back when we started this course, uh, we never thought that we will have second edition and third edition and, 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 and also plan for continuing this for many years. In fact, uh, giving you all a, big, a very quick background, uh, you know, it all started about, uh, about uh, one and a half, two years back uh, in the midst of the COVID. So in COVID, our brains work more. Uh, and uh, we started thinking, uh, you know, how do we impart knowledge uh, in, our, in our industry? And believe me, logistics and supply chain industry during COVID has come out uh, as a very strong and important department, function, industry, whatever we call. And I always tell in, in all the sessions that uh, all, all of us, most of us are logistics professionals. Uh, we were like a side department and today we are a very main, mainstream department in every industry. You can check with all the four of us in the committee who are sitting here on the dais. We each of one of us bring and represent different industries, but purely that the significance and the cost cost component of uh, supply chain and logistics has become so significant that all of us, all these have become a boardroom decisions, a boardroom discussion, and a boardroom representation for making any strategic, uh, 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 you know, uh, decision about the industry. Today, no nothing is decided in an industry without having a discussion, evaluation about the cost of logistics and the time of logistics, the speed of logistics, all of these. And that is where I see greater awareness and, and the requirement for skilled people. Believe me, still today, uh, most of the people in the industry are uh, have learnt 
the knowledge via on job training or transfer in getting a transfer of knowledge from somebody who is actually working and he has got it from somebody who is actually working that is how it is happening and the utilization of scientific tool the concept some of those which uh, dr mathur spoke to you today is is has always been restricted inside the textbook but i think as we are going ahead we are moving into a knowledge based industry where people will need to be aware of this concept people just can't say that i get a i get a phone call and order this and i order this no i think we are moving uh, what's happening is customers are becoming more and more demanding uh, trade is becoming more and more dependent on service levels uh, cost optimization is the need of the hour and uh, time and visibility is required so when so much is required you just can't say that oh just because somebody told me i am working this way you need to gain knowledge in this sector and as part of uh, 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 ftccif uh, we all have decided and we all have come together to ensure that the knowledge level in our state in our industry in our community improves and and that is why we have made this program it's a six saturday program six full days we have optimized it you will know everything which is real life uh, usage for example if today you have heard because you, uh, dr mathur has talked about how inventory ordering is happening believe me every good organized company today is following those principles whether we are talking about palmolive colgate we are talking about sipla dr reddy whether we are talking about automobile companies like maruti or uh, renol all of them are using those concepts to run their uh, uh, inbound inventory outbound inventory as well as the in inventory which is there during the manufacturing process the entire thing comes under the broad concept of supply chain management and excellence but anything which moves any time any goods moves that comes under the ambit of logistics and it covers not the goods alone it covers the uh, vehicles it covers the packaging it covers the intermediate storage and everything so so logistics is a very strong important component in the overall uh, supply chain so with that objective we have designed this course you will learn about air about uh, land transportation about uh, ocean you learn about uh, warehousing operations you learn about freight forwarding you learn about uh, bit about customs also and you'll also learn about fundamentals of uh, uh, the supply chain management so please keep an open uh, open mind and don't come under the impression oh i have learned and i'll implement everything today because what you learn we are talking about the next 10 years in different roles that you will take where this will be useful and as chairman as president has said that we are also organizing a, a, an international shipping and logistic conference uh, in partnership with uh, government and ftcci it will be good to have all of you there as well and your organizations represented and uh, please extract uh, one last tip please ask questions all the instructors we are very experienced we are making the course second or third time please be open you know don't be students like us when we were students we used to only listen but i think now time is changed please raise your hands ask questions because if you are able to learn something in your context of how you are going to deploy in your industry it will be more useful so use this as a knowledge uh, knowledge session and uh, take uh, good learnings uh, for your future career okay so with this i i once again thank my committee it has worked significantly i thank all the dignitaries on the stage and to all of you that uh, uh, that all of you wishing you all a very great six saturday learning thank you so much thank you sir thank you uh, for your guidance support to design such a cur curriculum for such a wonderful program now i request sri gautam chand jain chairman managing director pokana limited to address the participants <coughs> good afternoon everybody uh, first at the outset i would like to thank president anil and khyati to make me part of this great learning program for you all and uh, i would only say that you can understand the importance of this subject with the presence of narsimha reddy garu because a government person who is part and parcel of the growth is here today so you can understand how important this subject is and more so because lot of students i see are directly from the classroom i would say that 
this subject is lifeline of any business doesn't matter domestic doesn't matter international any growth today of a country depends on how efficient the logistics is and i as an uh, entrepreneur would say that if at all i am having any feedback from the customer it starts with the logistics they are more concerned whether the material can be shipped on time whether the very easiest way to ship is taken care or not the cost is very critical but this is all has to be taken care by this uh, team of logistics so i would say as an entrepreneur i have lot of shortage of good professionals from this background and will always have because any business grows the demand of this uh, sect of the people are always growing along with the organization so i believe that you come for the right class this is the best opportunity that everybody has there are some people who are experienced there are some who are new you can exchange thoughts you can ask questions as they have just told you that i would only once again say that we are into international business for us it is more than anybody's anything else that logistics is important during the covid days the cost of logistics was going heavy i remember our container sometimes was 15000 dollars and we were paying 18000 dollars for the shipping today of course thankfully the pricing have come down but any of these savings will come from this department and that saving will be not only to the organization you are working also to the consumer and i can tell you the importance that we made lot of new customers because we could manage the logistics at a faster time availability of containers to cheaper containers to cheaper shipping we got new customers on board so this is because the efficiency of my logistic people so i would only once again uh, say that this is a important course i want to thank ftcci to invite me and uh, i am not a person to talk really but i am happy that there are so much of uh, people who are willing to get into this field just be dedicated to your job dedicated to the organization you can see a good growth for yourself thank you all the best thank you sir thank you uh, all the faculties are they have got the uh, practical background also apart from the theoretical they have got the practical background also. so uh, thank you for your support for uh, ftcc pokana skill center and your presence to motivate the young participants now i request our chief guest for the day shri uh, ev narsimha reddy uh, vice chairman and md telangana state industrial infrastructure corporation limited to address the participants all people talk a short man coming he has to adjust his uh, mic yeah and the two at the lunch hour everybody is hungry and you make me chief guest and ask me to talk what can i talk <laughs> yeah of course manufacturing facility yeah uh, good afternoon to all uh, uh, i thank uh, ftcci for uh, making such uh, very good initiative last year and this is the second uh, program they are continuing uh, mr anil uh, agarwal ji or uh, saurabh kumar gautam chand jain ji my friend and uh, jaydev garu and uh, the dignitaries uh, on the dais and uh, kyati and uh, the participants <coughs> uh, you understand telugu as well i believe right most of you most of you or all of you yeah most of you except some agarwals they understand but they can't speak they they don't want to speak that they can understand no no that they don't want to speak I, i will tell the reason also in the business it works very well i was coming from uh, one uh, inaugural uh, foundation program uh, of honorable minister mr ktr today uh, we had that foundation for uh, gems and jewelry in the malabar gold 
they are establishing their world's largest manufacturing facility here. So that's the reason I had to come very late. Not exactly for uh, what you are thinking for the showroom. It is for the manufacturing. You please uh, understand that. Showroom only you guys can uh, go uh, later on. This is one emerging uh, subject, basically, emerging field. Uh, I, I would rather uh, love to see the MBA graduates coming for this program. And uh, uh, actually, now, uh, this is the right time to understand what supply chain system is and logistics are. This is going to be the order of the day. So if you see the services, when we talk about the services, the logistics are very important. Logistics is not a very big subject and uh, supply chain is not a very big subject. Per se, in everyday life, manam kuda andaram chusna on tamu, ekad kana bail de ralante first to choose calls in the logistics. A bus sundi, any gantal kundi, a put bail de rali, the intlo bail de rali, cab lo vella galma, nadji vella galma, bus lo vella la, bus lo velte a bus sundi. In no nai prashnal. Kani simple ga decide chase is tamu, a kadun check a vella le, a put bail de rali, the automatic a jari puta. It is uh, part of our life. For example, going to Geetam, wherever you are staying, if you are not staying in the hostel, how to reach there, when to reach there, how to catch your class, etc., etc. You will be planning and it automates every day. It becomes a routine and automatically you are getting ready and you are catching your bus and you are reaching there and you are attending your class. As simple as this. In the GMR, the people are coming uh, uh, and they plan their uh, entire thing based on where they are going, how many days they are going, what kind of luggage they use, they have to pack and take it, etc. And go before one hour, two hours, as per the requirement, COVID called us three hours before. The GMR people were calling us three hours before. No other way, you have to go there three hours before and get the entire screening process done and get your flight and go to the destination. So it starts from your life and the supply chain. What is the supply chain in the manufacturing may be different, but in the life also, when you are going, what kind of things you need to carry, how to pack it. They allow only 23 gauge. You have to push everything into that 23 gauge bag and you have to go. You can't carry more. So there are certain restrictions. You understand that. In the supply chain mechanism also, what kind of supply systems are there in a given situation, you need to understand. And what kind of packaging you need to do so as to transport more material to the destination. This is very, very important. And a pet the container petty than the conne was to lace a si container space equities kuntundi, box equity place this kuntundi. Apudunu equa. Truck lani manam book chayal sastundi. Cheshte manufacturer ki sarpadu paan ki raadu. Kabati dhani etlo compress cheshi elati dhagar ki tisku raagalu taam. Okavel weight takkoondi, weight takkoondi but quantity is big. Space ela manam maximize cheshi taamu. I vanni koda meke supply chain mechanism and logistics studies lo chala important things. And second thing is where we are establishing the manufacturing unit. Akade enduk cheyali anedu malli rendo question. Akade enduk cheyali ante akar nunchi ekadi kena mana material vellali customer ne reach avali ante akar nunchi what kind of transport mechanisms are available. Akar nunchi road mainne vellala railway unda like with the aeroplane unda based on the product and based on the quality and based on the pricing of that product. Even we choose kune establishment out there. What we are trying to do in the government. Even it ni inka ease chetan ki. Always we focus on the infrastructure from the government side. That is more important. 
probably you heard about the regional ring road outer ring road has made our life very easier now those who are coming from the international establishments for investment in telangana in hyderabad they are very much impressed with the outer ring road the way we can get into the city right from the airport hardly it takes any time but within the city again the traffic issues are there to resolve these traffic issues the srdp project is there the strategic road development project flyovers kartunam highways kartna elevated roads kartunam etc etc these are not sufficient we need to do more we are trying to do that but at the same time for the manufacturing this regional ring road is also going to be a growth center down the line next 5 years already northern portion already started about 180 kilometers already land acquisition is going on in coming 4 to 5 years the regional ring road will be connecting both the highways which pass through hyderabad nh44 and nh65 ee renditni connect chestundi enduku anta pedda roadlu veyalsuntundi anedi first manam artham cheskunte government nunchi that is the support that cuts the time transportation time second thing is the fuel efficiency goes up third one is as the fuel efficiency and the time is cut short manam edaithe manufacturing nunchi goods pampichalsu untundo on that goods whatever the logistics companies charge that will come down or the efficiency goes up efficiency eppudaithe perugutundo market lo ni product ekkuga amutundi for example if you take the e-commerce all the flipkart amazon delivery is one uh, logistic company they are also uh, giving services to various people why they are successful that is a new uh, business altogether the delivery people from the delhi delhi hiwari uh, it is spelled like that so why they are successful it's a new uh, business opportunity for the people as well inka rabe kalam le ela untundi baga artham chesukovali particularly when you are talking about the supply chain system for example today pokarna is manufacturing engineered stone quartz for example he can manufacture somebody is taking care of this logistics he will give to them he need not worry about that the supply chain system if somebody is taking care of that he won't mind spending another 10 rupees his headache is over he can cut his uh, benefit but he gives to the supply chain uh, system whoever is there and they will only his work is to manufacture and his requirement will be timely delivery to the destination wherever country he is supplying to he has to deliver in that aspect there is huge potential in coming years for example i have taken that uh, if i take the example of mr jaydev he is into uh, plastic manufacturing now he is into upvc he is into drip irrigation etc etc plastics he manufacture pipes etc pipes contain large uh, space basically it is uh, lighter but it can uh, it takes uh, larger space while transporting what they do have you observed any time pet the pipe lor anni bible chin chinni anni pettesi ekkuga transport chesestaru so oka sari oka daggara market daggara chesesi akkada storage kuda malli plan chestaru storage akkada plan cheyakunda prathari ikkada nunchi pampichalante transportation cost waste avutundi so these are the simple things లైట్ గా అర్థం చేసుకుంటే పెద్ద సైన్స్ ఏం లేదు దీంట్లో కానీ వీటి అన్నిట్లలో మనం మైండ్ అప్లై చేసి ఎలా చేస్తాము టైమ్లీ మేనేజ్మెంట్ ఎలా చేయగలుగుతాము అనేదే ఈ సప్లై చైన్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ అండ్ రాబోయే కాలంలో ఇంకా మంచి అనదర్ వెరీ గుడ్ అపార్చునిటీస్ దే ఇన్ అదర్ మ్యానుఫ్యాక్చరింగ్ దే విల్ బి టేకింగ్ మోర్ టైమ్ ఇన్ ప్యాకింగ్ the final processing that is called so packing is another very very important thing if you have a packing uh, unit you have to pack they will only manufacturer give for example uh, some soaps let us say 
they will give you the soaps manufactured and uh, their labeling you have to do and you can pack them you have to supply them to the destination whatever they give that is how amazon flipkart is working for various other companies they send product to the amazon they have a freight station where all the goods are uh, kept and there from they will supply today uh, when initially amazon started uh, supplying for example when you used to order uh, something for example uh, your uh, uh, skin cream let us say the cream uh, is manufactured somewhere you have ordered it but it used to come in a weeks time if it is imported one but even the imported products you are getting in a day or two you select the product on on your mobile and you order it it is delivered in a day or two sometimes let us say for example today you thought within one hour you need some chicken and you are uh, ordering on the app whatever fresh to home or oh, there are various people delicious delicious so they they give you the right time it will be delivered in 40 minutes it comes in 40 minutes and you cook in 10 minutes and then it is supplied how it is possible this is possible because of the technology because of the supply chain ma management they have they have uh, all the companies all the uh, e-commerce companies or all the manufacturers now are thinking in this direction and giving the delivery in time the customer is also expecting on the same lines the customers desire the customers requirements are gone up and customers don't mind spending a rupee more if the product is delivered intact and in time these are the very critical things so in this entire thing this course whatever three months the training that is going to be given to you definitely the faculty will be trying to give you the techniques in this and the modalities and over a period of how it evolved and what are the challenges that are there and in the coming years how you have to have the techniques in your hand and how you will be able to perform well in this particular field they will definitely be training you on this uh, this will uh, going to be very good uh, inputs for your uh, further uh, career and those who are already working in this uh, sector they will definitely uh, polish their techniques actually whatever tools they are using as on today if they are outdated they will be teaching you the new tools to be adapted and the tools you have to equip with and you can perform well so i once again uh, thank and congratulate ftcci for this initiative the certificate that will be given to you will be very beneficial and uh, definitely it will give you a bright future good luck thank you thank you very much thank you so much thank you so much mr reddy and um, uh, i remember two years back when we initiated the export import management course i think with the same passion and same motivation and push you came and supported the federation and even after i think after span of 2 3 years you have shown that same commitment and i think this uh, this commitment from you actually pushes us to do better and better and that's how we are also going to uh, november first week or second week we would be inaugurating our skill center on the second floor so that's where uh, you know all 365 days we will have all the skill programs going on over there so before uh, we conclude and i invite uh, our senior vice president to propose vote of thanks uh, we would like to present the green certificate to our chief guest and guest of honor. Uh, I request president to please present the green certificate. So, uh, sir, uh, we've again taken a very conscious step and we, we've stopped the mementos, giving away the mementos and we would be donating dictionaries on your behalf to the government school. So this is a new initiative we uh, launched six months back. I 
Yes. <laughs> to our guest of honor thank you so much uh, mr jain uh, i uh, before i invite you sir can we have a group picture of the committee and the people on the stage one group picture no first then very much thank you narasimha reddy garu mere explain chesindi anta chaala baagunnadi ippudu vache technology toni eppudu vehicle load avutundi eppudu customer sector ki elthundi ane information kuda telusukotaniki avakashalu unnai sir cheppinattu maaku 400 vehicles a vehicle eppudu ekkada unnadu anedi oka department untundi kani maaku anta enkat nunchi vastundi kaabatti atla separate ga ఇలా ఎంబీఏ క్యాండిడేట్లు అట్లా ఎవరూ లేరు మీరందరూ చాలా అదృష్టవంతులు ఇప్పుడు నేర్చుకుంటున్నారు కాబట్టి ఈ వెరీ గుడ్ మార్ గుడ్ ఆఫ్టర్నూన్ టు ఆల్ పార్టిసిపెంట్స్ అండ్ ఎస్టీమ్స్ గెస్ట్ ఆఫ్ జాయినింగ్ ఆన్లైన్ అండ్ ప్రజెంట్ ఇయర్ ఇన్ దిస్ ఫోరం ఇట్ వాజ్ ఇండియడ్ a well organized inauguration ceremony with a good number of participants to begin with global logistics supply chain management had been there from long time but the same has been identified a separate subject of importance now as rightly identified by our president ftcci for other dignitaries development of digital technology and trust given a government on the logistics sector is going to various avenues for all stakeholders it is a great importance workshop force to understand the developments of opportunity and get the themselves prepared time and again the course will be really helpful to have the insight of the whole logistic ecosystems from over with the global logistics to how the industry is changing with the technology advent advancements of covered course modules i am sure each of you would be benefited immensely with the field visits deliberates from the experts i once again convey my thanks to narasimha reddy garu for coming to here and and gautam jain ji thank you very much for coming here sir and esteemed sir ftcc president sir and our total ftcc team for successful this course last but not least the best wishes to the all the participants thank you thank you very much the logistics urenche chaala pedda subject idu ayipen tarata meeku okka nimsham cheptanu oka vehicle ekka nincho elthundi ఎక్కడ అవుతుందో తెలియదు ఇప్పుడు అన్ని కొత్త రూల్స్ అండ్ రెగ్యులేషన్స్ జిఎస్టి రూల్స్ అండ్ రెగ్యులేషన్స్ ఇవన్నీ కూడా లాజిస్టిక్లో మీరు ఇంపార్టెన్స్ తీసుకోవాలండి జిఎస్టి ఆల్సో ఈజ్ వెరీ మచ్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ టు ది లాజిస్టిక్స్ వెన్ ద టైమింగ్ ఒక వెహికల్ బిల్ అయిన తర్వాత వే బిల్ జనరేట్ అయిన తర్వాత ఇంతసేపట్లో అక్కడికి వెళ్ళిపోవాలి లేకపోతే మళ్ళీ మధ్యలో పట్టుకొని మళ్ళీ కేసులు వస్తారు దట్ టేక్ కేర్ లాజిస్టిక్స్ అదర్వైజ్ దే విల్ పెనాల్టీ నూట సెకండ్ టైం వచ్చిపోతున్నావు అని అంటాడు సేమ్ బిల్ మీద అలాంటి ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ చాలా ఉన్నాయి తర్వాత ఒక ట్రక్ ఫుల్ లోడ్ కాకపోతే అవతల ఎంతమంది అయితే మ్యానుఫ్యాక్చరర్ కానీ డీలర్ కానీ ఉన్నారో లాజిస్టిక్ పీపుల్ ఈ రూట్లో వెహికల్ వెళ్తుంది ఇంతమందికి కావాలి మింత అందరికీ ఫోన్లు చేయాలి ఆర్డర్స్ గెట్ చేసి లాజిస్టిక్స్ అని పంపించాలి ఇది చాలా ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఫ్యూచర్ ఇదంతా 
దాంట్లో ఏమవుతుందంటే ట్రాన్స్పోర్టేషన్ మ్యానుఫ్యాక్చరర్ కానీ ఎనీ సెల్లర్ కానీ తక్కువ అవుతుంది దట్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు హెల్ప్ టు ది ఇండస్ట్రీ దట్ ఈస్ అ మెయిన్ కో ఇంపార్టెంట్ అండ్ థ్యాంక్ యూ వెరీ మచ్ సార్ థ్యాంక్ యూ సార్ బిఫోర్ డిస్పర్సింగ్ ఫర్ ది లాంచ్ ఐ వుడ్ రిక్వెస్ట్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ ఆల్ ది పార్టిసిపెంట్స్ టు ప్లీజ్ కమ్ అప్ ఆన్ ద స్టేజ్ విల్ జస్ట్ హ్యావ్ అ గ్రూప్ ఫోటోగ్రాఫ్ విత్